very affordable and very nice looking. That's exactly what this Harley Benton CST is. Welcome to another video with me, Elmo J. Cardiolite, and it's good to have you along. Today we're taking a look at the Harley Benton CST24T Paradise Flame, I think it was. Let me check. Yeah! Well, you know, I got that right. This guitar costs 249 euros here in Europe, and it looks absolutely great. At least, that's my humble opinion. Now. I've been very impressed with Harley Bentons that have been over the 200 euro mark. By the way, 249 euros, uh, I'm guessing that's roughly 280 dollars, 290, 300, 5000? I don't know, let me know in the comments what these go for. Uh, anyway, so I've been very impressed with the Harley Bentons that have been over the 200 uh, euro mark, but under that, uh, I think they've been a bit dodgy. So, I have high hopes for this one. Let's check out the specs, take a closer look and try out some sounds. So it has a mahogany body, arched top, flamed maple that is, a mahogany neck set in, uh, a set mahogany neck that is, roasted jatoba fretboard, uh, neck and body binding, uh, neck profile is C, fretboard radius 350 millimeters, th 635 millimeters scale, not with, 42 millimeters, the nut is graphite, 24 medium frets, two Roswell HAF Alnico 5 open coil humbuckers, three-way switch and the tone switch uh, has a push-pull function for coil split, Wilkinson WVPC tremolo DLX machine heads. So taking a look at, I've had this here now for over a month, uh, it's had no fret issues, so no fret sprout whatsoever. I haven't had to set this up. It mostly looks really nice. On the back you can see that the tremolo block is the big kind. Uh, I don't know why this wood bit is kind of black. I ain't seen no black wood yet. That sounded weird. The neck joint looks really nice. There is a bit of weirdness going on with the binding here, just where the pickup is, where, yeah. Um, let's see if I, can, if I can take a picture of that. The nut is fine. When you fret a chord, it stays in tune. Um, yeah, everything just looks, looks very good. On the back, the grain of the neck, mm, nothing special. Looks like it's made out of three pieces. The neck that is, and the body is made of, let's see if I can figure this out. There's one line, two lines, well it's at least three pieces, there's, yeah, oh, well at least three pieces, anyway. Uh, who cares, what we care about is how it sounds and how it feels, so let's start playing. Let's see that everything works, volume, yes, works, let's try the pickup selector. push-pull thing. So, uh, I have my Marshall Plexi, which isn't entirely clean, so when I open the volume all the way up, it sounds like this. So if you're looking for a clean sound, sorry, um, I can clean it up by having less volume. Thank you. 
So far uh, everything is in perfect working order, it doesn't go out of tune when you touch the whammy bar. Uh, I've not set it up at all so the neck, uh, it's, it's arrived in perfect condition basically. Yeah, let's check out middle position with the coil split. Now it went out of tune, let's tune it a bit. Try it uh, with, without the coil split. Okay, one thing I find annoying is that the pickup selector is over here, but that's because I'm used to strats. So that's just a personal subjective whatever, but it feels very nice to play. Let's add a bit of dirt. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Absolutely great. Uh, I think it sounds quite good. I'm not entirely convinced by the pickups, um, but yeah, let's see how it stays in tune. Um, I'm guessing it won't be great, so let's do a bit of a whammy bar test and see what happens. Uh, I'll do moderate first and then I'll do really extreme. <laughs> too terrible let's see if we can get it to go really out of tune it's not entirely in tune but let's see <laughs> Well, I've heard worse. <laughs> it's not entirely. Yeah, it's... Again, you could probably make that better by uh, 
lubing up the nuts here, uh, that would improve the situation. So what do I think? 250 euros for this? <laughs> very nice. Actually very, very good. Would be interesting to compare this to one of the cheaper PRS's. I think they have one that goes for around 500 euros. Compare that to this. Because if you swapped out pickups, um, depending upon what you get, of course, you'd end up in roughly that kind of price range. But yeah, I really do like the sound of, uh, sorry, the feel of this and I quite like the sound of it. Uh, this is definitely something to look at if you're in the market for this kind of guitar uh, and if you don't have lots of money to spend. It kind of feels a kind of semi Les Paul type thing does that and then it also kind of semi does a strat thing with the push-pull thing, uh, the coil splitting. Yeah, what can I say? Very, very nice guitar for 250 euros. This, people have been wondering how Harley Benton make such affordable guitars so well. And I was one of those. Mostly it seems to be down to the fact that they don't have advertise, they don't, don't have any middlemen, so that kind of uh, lets them keep prices down. Anyway, uh, the Harley Benton uh, CST24T Paradise Flame, I think it was. Yes, <laughs> let's check that again. <laughs> I'm so tired, I stayed up watching football yesterday. Anyway, uh, very nice guitar. Definitely worth a look. So if you want to watch more of my guitar reviews, there's a playlist here somewhere. Also, there's a playlist with my music. Check that out. Click like if you liked the video. Comment, let me know what you thought. Subscribe if you haven't already hit that bell notification thing. And join me on Patreon because you get all of my music, access to my Guitar Academy, and you can even take that stuff for free if you don't like it. Uh, there is a link in the description. Check that out. I hope to see you in another one. Take care. Goodbye.